is Two Hearts In. It's been a while since the last video. I still haven't received word of the guy who won the Ryobi Christmas giveaway, Charles Kump. If he doesn't reply on this one, I'm going to draw again and try to get someone a gift. <laughs> it's a little late, but I was kind of waiting for him and we have a lot of things going on. 2018 was not a good year for me. Uh, my daughter got diagnosed with leukemia, so we've spent all year uh, with her battling that. We're nearing the end. She'll be good as new, but this year has been a struggle. We've moved from South Dakota to Texas. Every week we go into Dallas to get treatment. And the reason this channel is called Two Hearts In is because I've had two heart transplants. On top of my health, I have my daughter's health. Hold on, I gotta get this. So 2018, not a real good year, but I met a lot of nice people down here. So there's a lot of positives that come with a bad year. Hopefully if any of you had a bad 2018, this 2019, 2019 will be a great year. Me, myself, got into tools in 2018 as part, I love tools, first off, and as part of a distraction from all of what 2018 had given me. So I've always loved tools and now they're coming out with just awesome tools. So I want to tell you guys all about it and I appreciate all your support. You know I have, I'm pretty humble so I only got 67 subscribers but that pumps me up because they're, you know, seven are probably my family and friends so 60 people that I have no idea are watching this so keeps on climbing and the giveaway was at 50 and that was Christmas so we're gonna do a hundred when I get a hundred subscribers we're gonna do another giveaway that'll be exciting too it'll be no problem hitting that I just think it's awesome that people want to watch the three main brands that I really mess with is Ryobi, DeWalt, Hilti I've had a few other brands but those three brands I really stick to. This particular video will have a DeWalt tool right next to me. That is phenomenal. And do-it-yourselfers out there. And it's a craze with the palettes and all that stuff. This saw can do anything you want. That's what I wanted to kick 2019 off with is a great tool that I've wanted for a long time. And this is my first sliding miter saw. That I bought. I've had miter saws but I've never bought a sliding one. It's a little bit smaller but it's cordless. Most of the stuff that I'll be showing you will be all battery. Corded I think is gonna go away. Who wants to mess with a cord when you have just good quality with a battery? So we're gonna take this. It's a pallet board. I'm gonna show you the stand. So the stand is it's a El Cheapo. I think it was like 40 bucks, 30 bucks. I don't even know if it was that much. Not even joking. It tipped out of my truck. Uh, tipped out of my truck with the miter saw. Nothing happened to it. And it's pretty amazing that it held up. And I don't even know who it's made by. It's generic. So I got a lightweight stand here. The lightest weight, I think it would probably be the lightest weight sliding miter saw that they make out there. I don't know. I'm just guessing that it is. One of the lightest ones because it has a smaller blade. It's seven and a quarter. I chose it because it would be light and I could take it to job sites or around the house or anywhere. Those big heavy ones are a nightmare to take around. So that's why I bought it for the lightness and I wanted to try out one because it's a battery. This takes a 20 volt battery. It works great. Let's get into this right now and do a demo. See how it cuts and all the stuff that this whole setup has to offer. We'll get to it here. All right, we'll start with this. I'm just gonna cut a little piece off here off the end. I wanted you to see the whole thing uh, quick. This is the bag, it's zipped, so you can unzip it, get all the sawdust out of there, the handle to lift it out. The lock is over on this side, it's easy to see, so I can show that to you quick. And then the sliding here, 
And then on the right side there is a stop so you can stop the sliding mechanism. And then of course this is easy too. You just pull it down, push the button, and it moves to whichever angle that you want it. So we'll do this quick here. that and then this setup here so I can bring these arms out as far as I want well not as far as I want but pretty far on both sides up there the battery I gotta lock it to get it focused okay so there's the battery The sliding mechanism, the lock there for the sliding. Thumb release here, push down, press that. Um, overall, it is a good sliding miter saw. Um, it also has, I don't know if you guys saw the light on there. You can turn it on automatic, automatically on the top. See how it lit up there? So then when it comes down, it's lit. So I like that. And then it'll go off, of course. And then that right there. So you can do your 45 degree angles. This all here really good looking tool as far as the, the finish is very nice uh, very well constructed I believe I paid 350 to 379 so. one thing about it it's a little bit jerky on the sliding but it's not bad and I think if I use it more it might get better the bigger ones do slide better but it's not a problem I think that you could possibly put some oil on it or something to make it slide better I don't think it's a problem at all for 379 you get a sliding miter saw that'll cut a 4x4 with a seven and a quarter inch blade it's pretty awesome really I think it's a great deal and lightweight take it wherever you want you know if you do job site work I mean, it's just, the advantage of batteries is awesome. I mean, on your do-it-yourself people, residential work, this will be a great addition to their fleet of tools to use. Uh, anybody, if you got $400, I'd put this high up on my list to get. This particular tool does a lot of work that makes, makes it simple for you. Lightweight, can't go wrong. I love DeWalt uh, and their new 20 volt. I put a 5AH on this, but I know they make better batteries. So if I were you, I would invest in at least 5AH battery, especially for this. If not a bigger one, this will do a lot of cuts just with this battery. One 20 volt battery, 5AH. Anyway, so this is a a great purchase. Not I'm not even joking. Like you just need a sliding miter saw. Uh, this is. Definitely a good one to get. Happy New Year to everybody. I hope that your last year, 2018, was good for you. And if it wasn't, I'm hoping 2019 will be a spectacular year for you. I hope it's a spectacular year for me. I feel like it's going to be. I'm very optimistic. We're going to have a lot of fun this year with all the tools. These manufacturers are looking for a lot of different ideas, a lot of different tools. So I think it's going to be a great year to be doing this for you guys to see all the awesome tools. So again, have a happy new year and this is Two Hearts In. You keep living. Because I'm happy. Clap along if you feel like a room without a room.